before Christmas. Our officials tonight, Ted Valentine, Mark Sherp, and Jamel Spearman. And the tip out of bounds going to go with the Wolfpack to start it off here. Hey, Sam, look, we're two minutes into the game. We got one point. I was promised offense. <laughs> These are two explosive offenses. I want to see the ball go in the basket. There you go. Markel Johnson. Devin Daniels bobbles it a bit on the post. Good, Good ball movement. Pass. Andre knocks it down. Beverly will try from three. That rims in and out a couple of ones that have been halfway down for the Wolfpack, have not gone. Reed will drive, nice athletic play for Alex Reed. Mm -hmm. Off a season high, 16 points, and a triple overtime win for the Citadel, their last game out. Nice drive for Devin Daniels. That will be the challenge. Rice is shot no good, follows his own rebound, and the Bulldogs up with it. Fresh shot clock. Another quick shot, knocking it down, Alex Reed. Of the shot clock. Markel Johnson dribbling in the paint. That one knocked around. Daniels up with it. And he finds the bucket for two. Try to keep guys in front. Got to try with help side to take away driving lanes. They don't have that eraser. So the challenge was poor defense. That one blocked away. Saved by Beverly. Another leading score. Shot clock down to three. Markel Johnson shot no good. Offensive board. And that's what's going to hurt the Citadel tonight. Was there for 10 years between 05 to 15. Nice finish there. The four and the five gives them some personal lineups, but more importantly, gives Coach Keats another body to implement his system of run, run, turn you over, and wear you down. Out of St. Louis, a couple really good players have come out of there that know how to do this, score the basketball. A mystery, and now the Wolfpack look to run. They've been able to build by being patient and disciplined on the defensive end. Helms for three. Great decision here for Markel Johnson. Let Funderburg do work. Mismatch down low in the end one opportunity. Dangerous pass there. Eddie Davis the third picks it off. Into the corner, Rudy Fitzgibbons the third with the three. C.J. Bryce, no good, and Manny Bates with the follow. Season athleticism off the C.J. Bryce miss. Defensively, he's made an immense impact as that rim protector, allowing this perimeter to take the risks that it does on so many occasions. Look at the three turnovers. They're trying to move quick. Rudy Fitzgibbons with it blocked by the third blessed shot blocker in the ACC. Quickly the other way, C.J. Bryce. The acrobatic finish. Eddie Davis, the third, knocks it down. Bulldogs starting to heat up a little bit here. It is no good. It's a lazy attempt on a putback from Andre. It's an unforced error. Turnover gives it back to him. Pat Andre to the hole, no good. Gets his own board, puts it back up. That's going up in the purpose. No, Boozer will make that point for me back home in Bristol in studio. Because <laughs> he's working with guards at Hancock and Cuff. Thunderbird athletic play in transition. Fitzgibbons trying on the other end to equalize and does. Under two left to go here in the first. Markel Johnson splits at the free throw line. He is quick. Finds a pass. He was. That one back up and in by Eddie Davis, the third, and a timeout called. That is gospel to me. It's like going to church. <laughs> Come out of there a better man after those, those few hours. Under a minute in the first half. Reed, the Raleigh native, up and in. Certainly need to start clipping on some threes, and the turnover is not going to help them. Quickly, C.J. Bryce in the open floor. Nice bounce pass. With only one more turnover, the majority of that second half, he must continue to take care of it, allowing his guys to be put in great positions. Like yeah, that. Daniels wide open. Scoring pass, setting his guys up to be special. Ten points for Daniels tonight. Cross-court pass to Rice, and maybe he can start getting going. 
That one off the front iron, rebounded by Markel Johnson. Underneath the basket, Devin Daniels puts it in. Fletcher A.B. for three. Off the back iron, follows up his own board and puts it in. You won't see a lot of offensive rebounds, but following his own shot. The challenge for the Citadel, they play fast because they shoot so many threes. If those don't go down, it increases the possessions for the opposition and the Wolfpack are taking full advantage. They can build a lead. For the Wolfpack. Reed kicks it out. A whistle blows and a three-pointer made by Tyson Baptiste. Triple deep. Nice cut by Baptiste. Kicks it out to Reed. Got it. You won't see Andre miss a lot of wide open looks from there. He's about 50-50 from distance. Davis the third knocks it down. That definitely qualifies ugly sweater. <laughs> C.J. Bryce from the free throw line ends a 9-0 run for the Bulldogs. Bit of factor. Look for him to get going here. Give his team a, a, a little bit of a, some juice. Second chance opportunity for the Bulldogs, and Rice knocks it down. Here in the second half, in just five minutes of play in the second stanza. Finished the first half four of 18 from three. Daniels equalizes there. Points above his average, stolen away by Markel Johnson in the open floor and sends it home. Markel Johnson. Fitzgibbon stepping back. Can't get it to go. Dixon couldn't get it. Strong bounce pass to Helms. Oh, All right, since we're friends here, I'm just going to be honest. You yeah. see Yoda back there? Yeah. Not a Star Wars guy. I got to get into it now that I'm a Disney Plus though guy. So, yeah. It might be some avenue that I need to explore because I'm in the dark, man. CJ's a bit of a tough time finding his rhythm tonight. Real difficulty high on that offering. Six points for Harris tonight. That one off the mark. Helms with the rebound, puts it back in. Harris, top of the key. That's good for three. Not to go to the NCAA tournament last year, went to the NIT. But this year, you know, Coach Keats has kind of made an effort to try and bolster that non-conference schedule. Rice knocks down a three. Games like this one for the Wolfpack taking care of business on their home floor. Not having one of those headline losses where everyone's talking about. You see that the Wolfpack lost to the Citadel. So you got to like what they've been able to do here. Focused. Good, Baptiste with the board. Second chance opportunity here for the Bulldogs. Into the corner, shot knocked down for Kane Rice. Devin Daniels looking for help. Finds Markel Johnson. Step back three, knocks it down. Embarrassing show, and Wolfpack have looked far from superior throughout because of some of those shots. Rice, nice lay-in. Devin Daniels, floater no good. Rebounded by the Citadel. Out in transition, Rice finds an open shot and knocks it down. There's only one dabble right now. <laughs> Let's be honest. There's only one dabble right now. CJ Rice, after getting knocked down a couple of minutes ago, looks to be spry and well. Find that rhythm, they get their full identity, and they can really apply that full court pressure. You see how they score. Yeah. There's not a lot of teams in the country that are able to score like this team, most especially in this conference. In his 100th game, by the way, too. Congratulations to Markel Johnson. Kick to Kalen Harris, knocks it down. Again, there's nothing that, that you leave this game and say, right. did you see what the Wolfpack did versus the Citadel? the sidelines in coach Kevin Keats. So NC State will improve to nine and three this season as the final whistle blows.